Here we are once more with another episode of Odin Sphere Life is here. Thank you for joining me. Let's uh chat to some people, shall we? Not so fast. You can't run away. You're a prisoner. You have no freedom. That's what a prisoner tends to be. You may cause some trouble, but there is still no match for Princess Gwendolyn. Lord Brigand shall personally see to your execution. Uh huh. Aren't you? I'm Miris. I came here to earn some money. Let me help you, Princess. No, you can't. If they find out we're connected, you'll never make it out of here. Princess. So even your father has abandoned you, huh? I will execute you! And pay you back for the humiliation you gave me! Taunting a helpless prisoner, eh? Some noble warrior you are. What did you say? Why don't I just kill you right here? Bring it on, big boy. Are you really my father's daughter? I never thought of him as my father. Go. Get out. Are they really going to execute such a lovely girl? This land is so barbaric. Look, you might as well have a good last meal. Uh, Gwendolyn trying to uh, shop here. I see the witch! Over here! Catch her! I'm surrounded. I can't escape. Come with me! You! Why are you helping me? Your execution would deeply upset my father. It frustrates me. But my father loves you. So please, don't hate him. Please step aside, Princess. Stand back! Let her through! Lord Brigand has collapsed! The Princess has gone mad! This is most unfortunate. My lord! You know what happens to those who oppose me. This girl rescued me for your sake. She rescued me, your daughter. Stop it! Don't say that. The soldiers will think less of my father if they overhear you. Gwendolyn, do you realize what you have done? My heart knows why you are acting this way. That is why I am doing this. <sighs> Hear me, everyone. I am a traitor who opposes the king's commands. Until this girl escapes, none shall pass, not even the king. What disrespect. Take one more step, and I shall run you through. Here's your chain. Now go! Hurry! Gwendolyn. There you go. I'm glad to see you are safe. How is Master Croy? He's still in bed, unconscious. He sometimes mumbles about the Armageddon. Oh, Master. Huh? You better be telling the truth. So Odin cast a spell on his daughter, eh? Yes! Please. Uh, you're hurting me. 
What are you doing? Leave her alone, Skuldi. Ah, princess. This does not concern you. Miris, it's you! Yes, Princess Velvet. I was forced to leave the castle, so I was on my way back home. What did the sorcerer want? I do not know. When I told him that I was driven from the castle, he suddenly looked strange. Driven from the castle? What is happening at the Demon Lord's palace? Princess Gwendolyn, who I serve, was banished for opposing the king. What? Where did she go? She is to be imprisoned in the old castle in the forest. That girl. Oh, forgive me, Miris. This is all my fault. She sacrificed herself to save me. Princess Velvet. No. I cannot stand here and do nothing. Oh, Princess Velvet. Off she goes. Another rescue mission. This game is made up of a lot of uh, rescuing people. <clears throat> Even princesses rescuing princesses. Head to the old castle in the forest where Gwendolyn has been imprisoned for her crime. So what part of the story does this whole thing take place? So we stuck the ring in the dragon's belly and then there's a big gap during which Gwendolyn sets out to capture Velvet fights her Odin then comes along yeah Brigan and then she's punished okay this one's a bit more, more com well, a bit more uh, confusing if you don't remember what the in between stuff, but and if like me you go a few days without playing the game and you play other games in the meantime, it's all like what are we doing again? Well, I can't remember every single tiny story thread. I do remember that I like. Velvet's combat style. We've saved the best till last. sound like monkeys. I did do a bit of um, leveling up the other characters. My OCD compels me to get everyone up to the same level. Not for like a gameplay reason, because I know I've got to be at a certain level. I literally have no idea what level you've got to, you know, be at for the ne for the next section. But um, all the characters were pretty close to level seventy. They were in their sixties, so I. Uh, I got everyone up to level 70. Well, I haven't got Oswald up to level 70. He's currently level 51. But Gwendolyn, Cornelius, and Mercedes are all level 70. So I'll get Oswald up to level 70 and then um, I'll 
once we complete the Velvet story. I'll then get help to level 70 and then we will finish the uh, whatever the epilogue type thing is. Let's see what Maurice can make for us, if anything. It's a fancy trick, Maurice. Maurice Touring Restaurant. No building, no problem. Do you have ingredients? I can huh? I knew. Now then. Hmm, it's probably not that great in terms of experience, but as you wish. Is there anything else you want to order? What's the best? Oh, the, you know, the old apple pie is the best thing, isn't it? But we haven't got any of those. Where's that salmon thing I just had? Yeah, I've got the cheese. Don't add the cheese. Just a nice goblin. Got any cheese? I can make this salmon thing. In the area map. Now let's have something decent at Maurice's for once. We never tend to make anything. I'm always eating on the go. So that's quite a lot. That's even better. That's the best one. Let's go for a shrimp Doria. Nearly two levels. Is there anything else you want? I feel that maybe getting one more cheese might be a good. I await. One more cheese, my good man, my good goblin. Maurice knows his stuff. Not enough gold to sell some stuff and get our fifty gold. Um, don't really need you guys. Might as well sell this. Still not enough. We can sell the rotten. That's one gold off of what we need. What can we sell? It's cheap. This. One cheese, please. Just put it on the floor like you always do. There you go. Great customer service. Yeah. Did I sell the wrong thing? Should I have not sold? Oh, sold the onion. Son of a bee. I await your Let's see if we can find an onion on the ground somewhere. That's level twenty nine. We're even not high enough for that stage. Um I think I'll come back. I'm bound to find an onion somewhere. Ha! <laughs> 
Right, any onions lying around? We'll probably find nothing for ages. Should we go and get this uh, shrimp? Bees. Life's lying down a bit. Good fight, you put up a good fight. You're not an onion. The quest for the onion continues. Remember in the original version, this game was much harder because you had um, your regular attacks were governed by a stamina bar as well, like your power bar I think at the top. Something like that anyway, so you couldn't just attack constantly, you had to um, regain your stamina before you could start going into attack again so you had to keep dodging and moving around and stuff and it just I think it, it made the game harder but I don't think it, it was actually a, a good thing I think I prefer the the tweaked version where you don't have that particular additional concern but this game does come with the classic version so if needs be you can actually play the original version if you so chose but we are not. We are playing the Life Lizia. Don't know why I'm mentioning this now. Episode 40 something. 42, whatever this is. So far, the longest series of videos I've recorded as of August 2018. Will there be longer ones? I suspect so. If we ever finish Bloodborne, that could be the longest one. I said, if we finish it. It's not really down to me, it's down to my bro. That'll be fun, we haven't played, well he hasn't played that game in months, so uh, going back to a game like Bloodborne after not playing it for a few months, even when you know what to do, it's not, uh, it's not exactly easy. Let alone when you haven't played it for a little while. Come <laughs> on. 
It's another level 29 area. I thought I heard a... Uh, normally I would like to see you, my friend, Mr. Karatea, but... I want your other brethren, the Onion. got good aerial attacks, got good ground attacks. Velvet just is the uh, the overall package. I don't want to eat too much food in case I actually end up eating the part of the ingredients that I don't want to eat. So we'll keep we'll keep one one of each thing. Frogs, or toads, they could be. Well, they're called froggers, so I'm guessing they are frogs. Hey. This is one of those moments where you could actually end up getting yourself killed. No, no, my reputation would be ruined if I was uh, defeated by a bunch of frogs. No offense, guys, but I defeated dragons. My street crab would go right down if you found out that I was killed by a bunch of frogs. Still no sign of the elusive onion. I guess it's time we took on the old level, the old 29 stuff. No huge penalty for dying, so. These are going to be the old map. Oh, these guys, oh, two of them. It's the ultimate combo. Two bosses in the dark. Toxin, let's see how that works. One down, one to go. Yeah, that wasn't too bad.
Still no damn onion though. <laughs> Can't believe how well, I, I never really use onions ever and not the one time I need one. Can I find it? Can I find a single onion to make a decent meal? No, of course not. That'd just be too easy. But that's okay, we'll find one eventually. What's the best experience thing we've got? Napple, Napple, Napple. No, you're not an onion. I don't suppose you sell onions, do you, mate? Nope. Did I get anything better? I did. A shield room. keep hold of these napples because eventually they do become part of that super meal when you can um, combine them with the whatever that herb type leaf thing is and get decent stuff out of that yeah I was wondering when you turn up Anything I can use to whittle you down? How about some toxic? You like you like toxic yourself, so let's see how you deal with it. Summon your cronies, I can deal with them all. I could see that S bar going down. I was like, gotta be fast, gotta be fast. <laughs> Don't lose the S rank. Let's make a circle and see if we can find the elusive. Never gonna get it. No. All that way in a forest, you'd think you'd find an onion, but. The game knows. The game knows I want the onion. And it says, hey, it's your tough luck for selling it. Okay. 
Like I said, I hope you want to eat a lot of this food in case I can make better... ...better meals with it, but we can eat duplicates. Grapes are only good for ingredient type stuff now, so we'll keep all this. Hopefully we can get a level. Yeah, definitely get a level. Let's make ourselves some potions. worth the uh, mix but yeah three healing potions not exactly a lot but uh that's what we got we have transported princess Gwendolyn oh well done I shall take care of the rest. Return to the castle. Now, I am finally alone. Come out. So you knew I was here? I'm happy to see you safe, Velvet. If you were truly relieved, you would not have punished the daughter who cares for you. I see that you are concerned about Gwendolyn. But you know that the King cannot waive punishment for those who disobey the law. Even so, are you not her father? How could you? You see his true self? <gasps> Grandfather... Ah, uh, this tattered specter. This is King Valentine? Odin... You are truly vulgar. When it comes to rudeness, you're a cut above the rest. I need no civility to deal with a demon who kills his own daughter. Yes, indeed. A demon. I crushed my beloved child with these hands. These fingers wrung the life from that soft neck till it cried no more. Oh, mother. I would not even allow the rain to touch her. Do you realize just how much I loved her? Do you understand that my love could not prevent me from giving in to my anger? She was my everything. Everyone labeled me a child killer and feared me like a wild animal. I was indeed a mad king. I lost all sense of serenity and peace. You stole that from me along with my daughter! The pain of losing her is still with me. I have been fighting Odette's brittle bones ever since. Shall we continue our war here? Very well. Let us have our fill of battle. Right, Velvet? What? Don't worry, my dear. If you heed my words, we should be able to leave those underground in peace. <gasps> Look, this man is our enemy, Velvet. You should hate him. Chain this beast up. <gasps> So, am I right in saying that Odette, the Queen of the Dead, is Velvet's mother? Did they just reveal that?
I just get on my own. No uh, attacky potions left. Odin's packing quite a punch. Damn frogs, get out my way. Almost dead. Could be a tough one. Dodge fell, but that's from the dodge bomb. How do you dodge these things? Yeah, I think I need more healing potions to get past this guy. Well, let's see if I can do it anyway. Oh, you annoying frogs. Here's my dodging skills. Which aren't exactly fantastic. Alright, now he brings out Baylor. Didn't really want to eat this stuff, but That was a tough one. That was a tough one. <laughs> it appears the Demon Lord cannot be as ruthless to his own daughter. Why don't you allow me to be the cruel one? In payment for my treasure. Stop! 
Stop it, Grandfather! What are you doing, Velvet? I was waiting for you to get closer. Step back, Velvet. You were just pretending to be hurt. Well, no one is completely unscathed after a blow from a cipher. But there is still enough power in my hands to crush you, Valentine. Let me take revenge for the death of my beloved. She was my precious daughter. There could not be another like her in the universe. If you loved her so much, how could you do something so horrific? If she had any love for you, then her claims to love me were only lies. Is that a crime worth death? I made her suffer. And even then, why did she not curse my name? Why did she not beg the stars to strike me down? I see. Although she knew she had to die, she prayed that I could be spared. She just wanted her suffering to end. Is that my mother's writing? I was blinded by fury, acting on foolish impulse. I could have saved her. These hands... I killed her with these hands. Kill me, Odin! Crush my bones until there is not left! I killed my beloved fool! Ah, I will not find peace until my heart is truly destroyed! You said you loved her, but your words ring hollow. Go! Go suffer for eternity! Dramatic. Every nation has laws set by its king. Transgression cannot go unpunished. Not even for a princess. You're the same as my grandfather. You only realize a treasure's true worth once it is gone. Who is the one who truly loves you? Things will not get any worse. You don't need to worry anymore. Gwendolyn, little sister, I pray that you meet a man who is kind to you, so that you do not suffer any more for your own kindness. I'll pray for you. My dearest son, more precious than life, you have your mother's forgiveness. My daughter, go without hesitation and let your mother's love grant you courage. My father, your daughter's love remains unchanged, always by your side. To the one who will cause the world harm, I pray that your soul will heal. When the king and the princess Ariel gave birth to fatherless twins. She and they were locked away at the Valentine Villa, along with her, me, her maid. Yet life away from the guilt and the guilt and politic of the castle was peaceful. Despite the guards, it was the perfect place to raise a family. The peace did not last. Enraged over learning the identity of the twins' father, the king sent an envoy to bring the princess back. Her return could only mean her execution. Even then princess stood firm. She said she had prophesied this future. However, she did not despair but accepted her fate and cherished the time she had remaining. She entrusted her children to me and after her last words of comfort she stepped into the awaiting carriage. Part of a memo by the maid of Princess Ariel of Valentine. She was said to see the future and was well loved by her people but was executed as a rebel. 
Okay, so yeah, this is changed her name from Odette to Ariel. A Ariel, Ariel. Or Odette's not the the Val uh, Velvet's mother and Odin's lover, and it's confusing. Well, that was another stage complete. Another skill gained. Let's do the usual, and upgrade the cipher, second highest level. Nearly there. And that is another episode of Odin's Spear. It's been actually, um, Spear? Odin's Spear. It has been quite a long episode, but uh, we got a lot done. So, um, as usual, thanks for watching, and I will hopefully catch you in the next one and see where this story goes.